you work for 25 years and give your all and something happens in your life and you end up becoming homeless. Last year, I quit my job to take care of my wife and soon after became homeless. Right now, we're sitting in the uh, northbound I-5 Scatter Creek rest area. This is where we stay during the time period at night and stuff. We feel safer down here. We have a restroom we can get to easy. It's well lit and stuff like that. So we sort of semi have a roof over our heads in a way. For 25 years, I worked as a Washington State Park Ranger. Full Smokey the Bear type outfit. Eastern Washington, the San Juan Islands, Schaefer State Park in Mason County. One reason I quit my job was to take care of my wife. We've been together for quite a long time. She's been through some health issues. She goes through dialysis and sits for four hours three times a week. And then we come to hear her to sleep in a car where she can't stretch out and stuff. When you get married, it says for richer, for poorer, for sickness and health. We're still together, we're still fighting, but homeless is hard. We've been fighting this thing probably for a year, trying to get somewhere stable to live. When I was working, I would help people out that I saw that were homeless. Now you're on the other side of the fence and you're looking for assistance. Oh, wow. It's been tough not getting the help we need or being told that, oh no, you make too much money or fill out this application and we'll get some help to you or no, fill out another. I've classified it as putting the carrot out in front of you and saying, here, you're here. No, no, the carrot's a little bit further away from you now. You got to keep going and you can't get it. You understand now why you see so many people that are out on the streets and homeless. It will be three months since I've been living on these two places. I put this sign up at 10 o'clock. There's a lot of looks, a lot of looks, but no contributor. You don't see it until you walk in their shoes and you won't understand. We've been kindly told that we can't park here very long. We have, there's a time limit, like the water and stuff on the outside of the building gets shut off. Uh, so on some days where we can't go use it uh, or the electricity where if we wanted to plug something in on the outside to charge something up or use something like that, we can't use that. But these people, they've been turning off the damn water and it pissed me off. I think it's just a, a squeeze tactic and we'll slowly maybe push the people that are out here that are homeless right now to push them away. I mean, it's meant for everybody, but the people that are homeless and needing something like that to be at, that's a necessity. You got to stay positive. It's something you can't let get you down or give up. If you keep going forward, you keep working, trying to get something positive to come out of it. I'll go back to the elusive carrot. Even if it's after that, you have to keep going forward. If you don't, the world of homelessness will eat you up.